All right, we're going to be learning number 5859 and 60. 5859 and 60. Just like the other video, I'm going to start off violin viola, then move to cello, then move to bass. Feel free to jump to your instrument if you need to jump forward. So in number 58, we're learning a new note is high D. We have our open D. Now we're going to learn a new D. Same note, different octave. So to play high D on your A string, remember I'm holding a violin, on your A string for violin, A string for violas, A string, you're going to put down your first finger. Make sure that hard part of your hand is touching. Make sure your thumb is across from the first tape. Okay, that hard part of your hand should be in between the nut and the first tape. Curl down that first finger onto your A string onto the first tape. Your second finger curls down onto the second tape and your third finger curls down onto the third tape. You need to be pressing down almost like there's mosquitoes underneath your fingers. You're trying to squish the mosquitoes. You should have a nice ring. So let's play 58. 58. One, two, ready, go. D. D, 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 D. Okay, now let's move on to 59. We're adding a note. We are adding C sharp. Just like before, we had G and went to F sharp. Same thing. We're just going to lift our ring finger just above the string. Remember, you're going for that nice ring. You make sure you have your fingers nice and squared off. And you're pressing down with the tip of your fingers, tip of your fingers. So that's an example up here. This is what it should look like. Nice square fingers, straight wrist. Make sure you have a straight wrist. You do not want to be playing like that. Push that out. You don't want this touching at all. No wrist touching your instrument at all. Okay, you don't want that either. That's not good either. Straight. Straight is good. Let's go ahead and play 59. Remember, you can check out the fingerings that they have above the notes to help you out just a little bit. One, two, ready, go. And take notice of how little I'm moving my fingers away from the tape. I should be hovering my pinky too. Bad habit. I haven't broken it yet. Don't let yourself get a bad habit. Hover that pinky over the tape. Next, let's go to number 60. They have us playing a B now. So we're just going to lift up our ring finger and our middle finger just above the tape, leaving our index finger down. That will give us B. Okay, we want B. Then also, this has an open A in it. Try and keep your fingers hovering just above the strings when you're playing A. It makes it easier for you to put them back down later. You don't have to aim as much. Okay, so B is first fingered. Let's try and play number 60. One, two, ready, go. That's how you play number 60 for violin viola. Let's switch to cello. Switching to cello. For cello, your new note, high D. It's going to be four fingers on your A string. Should be an octave higher than your open D. Okay, make sure we're keeping that thumb behind the middle finger. Make sure we're keeping our fingers nice and curled like you're holding a bottle or a can. Let's try and play number 58, D, high D, four fingers on your A string. One, two, ready, go. Let's 
go on to 59. We're going to be learning C sharp. So we're just going to lift up our pinky and hover it just above the tape. So we should have our first finger on the first tape, middle finger in between, and third finger on the second tape. Then your pinky hovers over the third tape. Let's try and play 59. Keep that elbow up. Keep your elbow up. One, two, ready, go. D, D, D. C sharp, C sharp, C sharp. And now we're going to move on to number 60. 60 adds two notes, but one of them we already know. One of them's open A. Uh, the other one is going to be first finger B. So only your index finger is touching the tape right now. Make sure your thumb stays down. Don't let your thumb drift up to be behind that index finger. You need to stay down between those tapes. Keep those other fingers hovering over their places too. And when we go to play the open A, Keep your fingers as close to the string as possible and hovering over those tapes. It's going to make it a lot easier for you to put them back down when you need to. Let's try playing 60. Starts on high D. If you need help, look at the fingerings that they have written over some of the notes. One, two, ready, go. That's how you play 60 on the cello. Let's switch over to bass. Switching over to bass. Bass is a little more complicated. You have to do something called shifting now. So your hand will normally stay up here a lot for your first year of playing. But as you get better, you have to move your hand up. Otherwise, you only have a few notes. So what I mean by that is you're going to keep your hand nice and straight, your arm straight, your thumb staying behind your middle finger. That's where it lives. And you're going to lift your fingers up so you're not pressing down on the string, but they're still touching the string. You're going to slide your whole hand up to your next set of tapes. Okay, so you have tape one, two, then three and four. Look, my thumb has followed my middle finger. If I want to go back up, same thing. Thumb follows. Thumb should always follow straight behind. So in number 58, we have our hand way up here. We call this third position. Third position because our first finger is on the one, two, three, third tape. First finger, third tape, third position. First finger, first tape is called first position. So what do you think it would be called if we put our first finger on the second tape? Second position. First finger on fourth tape, which does happen eventually. Fourth position. Right now and for a while, third position is the only one you're going to have to worry about. Third position and first. Okay, so for high D, Put your index finger on your third tape, third position. Middle finger goes in between those two tapes, in between two tapes. Ring finger between your middle finger and the tape. And then your pinky goes down. Once again, make sure you keep that thumb bent in the back behind that middle finger. Gives more leverage to your pinky. And keep this all straight. Try playing that high, high D. Should sound like your open D. Just an octave higher. Let's try and play number 58. One, two, ready, go. Now we're going to number 59. You're going to learn how to play C sharp. Your hand's going to stay up here right now. 
C sharp, you're going to lift your pinky and your ring finger just above the tape. That's it. Did you see the movement? That's it. It's a very small movement. Leave your middle finger down in between the tapes. Your middle finger does not go on tape. It's going to stay in between. I know there's a buzz when I'm playing. It's okay if you have a buzz. That's the string buzzing along the tapes that we have on there, and that's okay. Let's play 59. Use the fingerings that they have over the notes if you need to. One, two, ready, go. Now, number 60, we're going to have to shift back down. We have to shift back down. You can see it written in your music. There will be like a little minus sign next to your next note and fingering. That minus sign is actually a shift symbol. That minus sign is not minus. It's a shift. It's saying, hey, it's time to move your hand. So in 60, we start up here. We go D, C sharp, D, then C sharp, C sharp, C sharp. Then tr lift your fingers up so you're not pressing down on the string, but keep them on the string. Slide, bringing your thumb with you back into first position. Ch um, B, sorry, back to B. So you have B here, this is a B, four fingers on your G string, and then A is first finger. So let's just play the last two measures, measures three and four. So I'm going to play it twice for you guys. So we have D, C sharp, D. C sharp, C sharp, C sharp, shift. And you want to make that shift movement as quick and clean as possible. If you miss it a little bit, that's okay. The more you do this, the better you're going to get aiming. It's okay to look at your hand real quick to make sure you're hitting the right spot. What's not okay is to squeeze too hard and like slowly drag your hand up. Let go and move. It has to be quick and snappy. Let's play it together one time. One, two, ready, go. And that's how you play 58, 59, and 60 in your new notes. Bye.